From the CPR Performance Studio, this is Open Air, 102.3 FM, Denver Boulder, 88.3 in Fort Collins, joined today by Denver Rockers Pan Astral for the first time in our studio. Their new album, their third, is called Suburban Blues. It's out this spring, and you can catch them at their album release. It's at the Walnut Room on April 23rd. Welcome, guys, and thanks for being here today. Thanks for, thanks. Having, us. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Before we chat about the new record, I want you to set the scene by playing us a song. What's up first? We're gonna do uh, Mile uh, High Mile City. Mile High City, it's called, and uh, aptly named because it is about our hometown, Denver, which we have fallen in love with. Bye. 
from the CPR Performance Studio, Pan Astral, here on Open Air at the heart of that song, a love song to Denver. It's going to be on their new album called Suburban Blues, which is out this spring, 2016. Okay, so it's been a few years since you guys have put out a full-length record. This is going to be your third. What's been going on? What's been changing with you guys? Yeah, it feels like it's, it feels like it's uh, it's about time we feel kind of pregnant, you know. Sort of, this is uh, nine months here, maybe nine plus. <laughs> <laughs> the whole process of the album, putting it together. Well, yeah, and Kyle graced us with his presence just uh, about maybe eight months ago, nine months ago. He jumped in, and um, so we've had to adjust. And it's, it's actually been great. He's been bringing in some more electronic elements to the album. But at the same time, we're actually pulling the album in more of a rock direction, pretty straight uh, in comparison to the past. Uh, and it represents us, I think it represents us really a lot live. Um, uh, and as a band too, as a unit, Kyle's involved in the, in the sound of it a lot. So we've had to sort of reconstruct and uh, it's been a wonderful opening up process. Yeah, so speaking about this live thing, have the songs that you had had written for a while now with the new record, did they change in sound then when you decided that, hey, we're, we're sounding more live, or were, were they born more of a louder, rockier song? Uh, it's been both, actually. This, that particular song uh, was born in the studio, and then we have other songs that we just kind of make up while we're together, jamming live. Um, and the album com is comprised of both types. Who, who all writes together? Do you write the lyrics yourself then, Gabe? I do, but uh, really in this album, everybody's included in pretty much every song, in the, in the writing of the song. So, uh, yeah, it's a very democratic process in the way that we put things together. Mm -hmm. Well, what about this next song that you're going to play called Gulf of Mexico? Now, this one's a personal one for you. Yes, it is. It's, uh, you know, it's very personal in that it's, it's about loss, and I've experienced a little bit of that in the past year. Uh, so have uh, some people close to me. It's kind of a trend for some reason. So, uh, you know, as all songs go, there's inspiration, mind from experience. Mm -hmm. um, and in this case, it's about finding home. It's like a, you know, that abstract home that we all sort of seek. And you can hear somebody say, hey, you know, you being with you is like being at home. Uh, or, you know, being in Denver is like being at home. When I come back home to Denver, it's like home. Or when I come back home to your arms, that's home. Um, and it's about that. We're going to hear it up next. This is Pan Astral in the CPR Performance Studio performing Gulf of Mexico on Open Air 102.3. <laughs>
Hey, everybody out there in Radio Land, we are Pan Astral, and this song is Animal. Ah. one of those moments listening to that song where it completely just struck me that that's the live sound that I could hear in like a uh, an arena or something it's very anthemic but that's the live sound that you're capturing for the record right like you hinted yep. at you really wanted this album to sound live that just sounds live thank you yeah it's it's just like the high energy and you know we're vibing off each other in the studio uh, or live, either one. Um, I know uh, Mike. Mike has. I don't know if you want to talk about it, but basically, um, Mike's drumming has opened up a lot because we have written a lot of this live. And same with Tad's guitar. Um, yeah, I mean, this song came from. Uh, it started with all four of us playing it together, and um, I think our our old bass player kind of started with that bass line. And we all started kind of layering different parts. And again, it was sort of a 
jam that we did in a, in a rehearsal, but gradually then it was like very easy to put it down in the studio because it, again, it started from that very basic kind of energetic place. You know? Yeah. A lot of so. our stuff these days are kind of starting as, um, I don't, jams or just a uh, little, um, little things that people have brought to the table, a little phrase or, you know, just something that just happens, uh, uh spontaneously Space in practice. Junk. Yeah. <laughs> And then Stuff it ends flying up flying around out there and just gets latched yeah. onto your brain, and we're like, ah, I can't get it out. Some some songs come a lot easier than others. Others, uh, I know we've got a few that are still in the bag that are still even being worked that aren't even on this album. So it's, you know, but it's always usually a a uh, collaborative effort with on everybody's part and with the the recording process. Although Gabe does a lot of uh, a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to the the production and stuff. Uh, on the albums that we do. And Gabe, you've produced this record? Yeah. Uh-huh. And I know you're working on the new Flowbots albums I am. and, and yeah. such. Yeah, I'm producing that for them, uh, which has been a pleasure. Great guys to work with. Um, yeah, it's it's always fun to reapproach the studio almost like an infant each time, you know, as if it were its own process, you know, its own creative sort of um, incubation area, if you will. <laughs> With you guys and riffing on these songs in the studio, jamming out, creating this space junk, as you say, do you perform them live before you commit them to album? Yeah, there's no hard, fast rule. I mean, it's just rock and roll when it comes down to it, you know. The electronic elements fill it out for us and give us, um, I don't know, a, a sound that we're looking for that is otherwise unavailable um kyle brings in a lot of that on his own um the rest of us tad sometimes does some electronic stuff with his guitar uh but yeah the space junk thing is that's the way it's always been it's been a shape you know that sort of happens in your mind and and then you just flesh it out um you know somebody comes in with an idea and inspires the rest of the band and then it turns into something completely different that was all about that day, that moment, that sound, the tone on that guy's guitar at that point in time. You know, all that stuff influences the way a song is built. And, uh, you know, and then we get to put our stuff into space. You know, <laughs> we get to be birds singing where other birds learn from. So looking at Flowbots, you've been on tour with them in the past. I know that uh, you've toured with National Band Lotus, and you've even uh, done some studio work for them. Gabe, I know you uh, recorded some vocals for a song that they put out this year. Now, tell me about your approach to doing shows this year. You're going to keep it DIY a little bit? That's right. Yeah, we're going to build our own shows, bring our own everything, really. Uh, we have an, a release show coming up, but that's going to be in a proper venue. Um, the DIYs will be in very different uh, locations at each time. A lot of detail will be spent on creating an, uh, sort of an individual vibe every show to create a moment where you're not just going to a bar to watch some music, which is, I like doing that, but it's just another way of putting a show together that we're interested in exploring very cool well you're going to play us one last song this is i won't be long and i would love to have you set this one up uh, with an anecdote uh, tell me about it oh wow yeah this is you know as as all the songs in this album are this is extremely personal it is about the search for the one that oh, a lot of people feel inside and i have definitely certainly felt um and uh you know the culmination of that when it happens or does not. It's a very, it's up to interpretation, but the emotion is there. Pan Astral in the CPR Performance Studio. Oh. 
that one always feels like going to church for me or whatever. <laughs> whenever, I, whenever I play that on the radio and I'm sitting in the studio or having Pan Astral in the studio now. This is Open Air from Colorado Public Radio. I'm Alicia Sweeney. And thank you guys so much for oh, coming in. Thank you thank so you. much for thank coming in. Thank you, Alicia. Yeah. The third album, Suburban Blues, comes out this spring. Catch the guys at their album release show on April 23rd, Walnut Room. And this has been another session at 102.3 in Denver, 88.3 in Fort Collins with our audio engineer, Dave Fender, Irvin Coffey, running the cameras. To find out more about our sessions, video, and podcasts, visit openaircpr.org. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.